thank you, Dr. West. Thank you for being here with us this morning. And Dr. West said that we here at the University of Georgia, he recognized the three of us who have worked at this conference, enjoyed this conference, loved this conference for this, the 14th year. But this is a co-sponsorship with UGA and the Garden Club of Georgia. And so for this entire 14 years, we've had the three UGAers and three Garden Club members, all from the Camellia District. We've had this symposium under the direction of Merlin Harris, the chairman of our committee. And I don't think she has arrived yet. She should be on her way. Merlin is from Enigma, Georgia. Mary Phillips at the back door back there. Mary has been instrumental in the organizing and spreading the news about this conference and Patty Parrish from Fitzgerald, Georgia. So there have been six of us that um, have loved each other, disagreed with each other, um, worked it out, worked, worked it on, and we're still here. So um, we're so glad that y'all are here. And we're especially glad that our others from the Garden Club of Georgia are here with us today. The Garden Club of Georgia president, Suzanne Wheeler, is here. Miss Suzanne, we're so glad that Suzanne is here. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. She's, um, I have to tell you, when we started this 14 years ago, do you know what? Do y'all work with these Garden Club ladies? Anybody? They call you two years ahead of time to say, what's your program going to be in May? You know, so, so I really learned about planning from my Garden Club associates and, and determination, too. So it's been a, a pleasure for me all of these years. And thank you, Suzanne, for being here. We also have some district directors here with us this morning. I know that Avernell Rogers is here in the back, back there. Avernell is district director right here in the Kameda district. Thank you. For coming, Avernell, and um, Marilyn Cheney from the Oleander District is here. Thank you, Marilyn, for coming all this way. And Janice Clyatt, I haven't seen Janice this morning. She should be here. Any other district directors present? District directors here with us this morning? We have a past president of the Garden Club of Georgia, our friend from the beginning of this, Sarah Lanier, is here. Hey, Sarah. Sarah has helped spread the word of this conference all across Georgia and now across the deep south. Are you? I'm the immediate past president of the deep south district. But these, these people that I've just named here, that you've just applauded, Man, are they a determined group of women. And they are working for the state of Georgia in all the things that they do. So I think we need to give every one of them a big round of applause. Um, I'm going to do a little housekeeping right here before we get started. And, and we're in for all sorts of surprises this morning, aren't we? Um, you'll see some exhibits out there in the hallway. We have our friends from over at the coast, the Ecoscapes from a University of Georgia unit over there, Ecoscapes, and on the same table you'll find um, the Center for Invasive Species and Ecosystem Health and the Georgia Native Plant Society. A lot of good information right there. Please make sure you visit these exhibitors because if you're here to learn more about plants, they can help you too. They can broaden, broaden that learning. There's some other past district directors, Mary Lou and Barbara are right there on the front. So good to see y'all this morning too. We also have, um, Camellia District has an exhibit out there with the insulated bags. Everybody needs to take one of those home with them. They're right out there. And, and Garden Club of Georgia calendars. Those um, that table, the Garden Club of Georgia table right out there, the funds from those sales are used to fund scholarships for students that are studying horticulture or agriculture. So make sure you purchase something there and, um, and help deserving students. And then we have that fun stuff out there. The um, artists, have y'all looked at that? 
Oh my goodness, those are some of the most beautiful photographs I've ever seen. Kim can tell you about them because the photographer is not here with us, but be sure you visit with Kim. And then our dear friend Linda Fraser is in the greenhouse right there with her beautiful, beautiful prints. I visited with her just a bit this morning and she does, she did show me a couple of new ones. So if you think you've seen them all, you haven't. She's got some new ones in there. And Linda writes a little story on the back of each one of those telling you about the plant and she usually has an insect hidden on it somewhere. So make sure you visit Linda. She's just a delight. And Merlin is here. Merlin, I already recognize you, but I'm glad you're coming right on down. This has been um, the chairman of this committee for all 14 years, Ms. Merlin Harris. You I think, I think that one other thing, I need to tell you one other thing. This conference, this symposium, has been supported for years by a grant from the National Garden Club. We have some cards out there and a little poster that you can learn more about that. But um, any of you Garden Club members, if you have an educational event, there are funds to help you get it off the ground. So um, the cards are right out here on the table and I'd be happy to talk with you about it too. Now, if you have a schedule, you'll see that Karen Garland was going to be, uh, Glenda's waving that evaluation at me back there. Look in your folder, you have an evaluation too. These are so important to us um, that we hear from you what, what you want, what we need to do to improve, what you would like to see changed, um, future speakers. We just want to hear from you about all of that. And so we take that information and we study it so we can plan the next symposium. There will be a next one. We might be back over there across the road again so we can have more space, but, um, but there will be another one. And so we do want to hear information from you. So you've got all day to fill it out, but please Please do, because it, it helps us in everything that we do. Now, I was going to say, if you have a um, schedule, don't pay any attention to it. <laughs> okay, just forget that for now. Because on the first one it says that Karen Garland is going to be our first speaker, but I've heard that there's some difficulties on I-75. Yeah. Yeah. So she may be on the side of the road up there or, or sitting in the traffic somewhere. So thank goodness Jim Cox, who would, would have been our second speaker, is here. Jim is with the Tall Timbers Research Center down in Tallahassee. He has spent years studying, studying the native habitat there, the forest, the longleaf forest in that area and the red hills of northern Florida. Jim is going to talk with us this morning about the habitats, the birds, the wildlife in that area. And we are just so thankful that you are a man who arrives on time, Jim, and that you are here with us this morning. So please welcome Jim Cox. Thank you. Thank you. 